Howdy everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use grading groups to regrade a pond and then after I will show you how to do a volumetric analysis. I am a professional engineer in the land development industry. This is in the field of civil engineering. We use AutoCAD Civil 3D to help us understand how much cut and fill we have for a site. But enough talking, let's dive right into this. So in previous videos, I showed you how to use grading groups to grade a portion of this pond. I'm going to take this another level. So what I wanna do is I wanna make this pond deeper. We definitely need more dirt for this site. And the first step where I would take with this is I would select this feature line that I've already created. And again, all of this can be found on the previous video. We went in depth of how to create feature lines and create surfaces. In this case, we have an existing grade surface and a final grade surface. So now I want to create a grading group I want to create a grading group off of this feature line. In order to do that, you want to select your feature line, go to grading creation tools. Now it opens up this dialog box for all the different tools that you can use. I have some that I have created. Here we have a four to one grade over a set distance. We can four to one grade to a set elevation or we can four to one grade to a surface. In this case, I have an idea of what elevation I want to go to. So I want to go to four to one grade set to elevation. Now, in order to initiate this grading, you want to hover over this box right here. Looks like a little like sun or lightning bolt. Going to click create grading. Now it's going to ask me to select the feature line. I'm going to go ahead and select that feature line and it's going to ask me if I want to select the grading side. So again, I'm trying to cut inside of this pond. So I want to select inside. So this pond starts cutting into the earth. Now, do I want to apply it to the entire length? Yes, I do. So I'm going to hit Y and press Enter, and then it's going to ask me for an elevation. In this case, I had an idea of setting it to 35, so I'm going to set it to an elevation of 35. The feature line that I have right now is at about 44, so let's press Enter. Now it's going to ask me for my cut slope. I know that my max cut slope that I can use for this project is 4 to 1, so that's what I'm going to do. It's asking me for my fill slope, four to one, sure. And voila, we have used a grading group to create a feature line and dig this pond deeper. Now, one thing that you might notice is that when I hover over this pond, the FG still says 44, which is technically the elevation of this other feature line. Well, what's the case? Well, I actually haven't added this feature line to the surface yet. So in order to do that, I'm going to go to FG here, and I need to define a break line. So I'm going to go ahead and select that feature line that was just created from this grading group, and I'm going to go to break line, right click, add, and I'm going to call this pond BOT for pond bottom. Now I'm going to press OK, and voila, we now have a pond. And if I hover over here, we are in fact at FG equals 35. Now obviously I have some oddities in this surface which I'll tackle on this problem in a later episode. But for now I really just want to show you how to use grading groups to dig a pond and then how to do a volumetric analysis. So the first step in doing a volumetric analysis you're going to go up to this analyze tab. You're going to go up here to the volume dashboards and the volumes and materials icon and here we have the dialog box. Now what I do is I click this little circus tent looking icon and it's going to ask you to create new volume surface. I'm going to press enter. Here we have the dialog box. We can give it a name and what I want to do is just call this earthwork. Spelled that wrong there. So earthwork analysis. I don't really care about the style yet. I can always change that. Now this is very important. This is how AutoCAD is actually going to be calculating your cut and fill. What I always do is I always set my existing grade as the base surface. That way my surface that I created is my comparison surface. So if I start entering elevations that are lower than the EG, it's gonna process that as cut. If you were to have these backwards, it would process my elevations that are lower as fill. This will make all more sense once you see it get reenacted here. So I'm going to select my FG as my comparison. 
You can add cut factors if you want. Uh, I'm not going to do that. And voila, we have now created a volumetric analysis. And this is a volumetric surface, so we can start applying styles. But before we get there, I'm just going to show you that we have about 726 cubic yards of, of cut there. But actually, I misspoke. So that's actually 726 cubic yards after the adjustment. Let's unhide some of these columns here and make sure that I don't misspeak. So what do we have here? So we're actually getting about 3,363 cubic yards, but it looks like we have some fill. Uh, so the net is actually 2,600 here. Now a couple things I want to show you is I want to show you some different styles. So I'm going to hide the FG style that I had. I'm going to turn these off and I'm going to go to this earthwork analysis surface that we created. So again, these are entirely different surfaces and I want to go check out some of the styles that we have. Here I have a style for elevations and again if you are not familiar how to create different styles go back to my previous video on this. All this is doing is it, sh it will be showing a little color code. Now I have full I have full control over how these color codes look. I'm going to go over here to the analysis tab in the surface properties dialog box and I'm going to do a particular range. So here we have a range interval that I want to set to one. This way it gives me a whole little rainbow of the different elevations that we have. And what this is again is it's not necessarily the existing or final grade elevations. This is the difference of my FG and EG. So it looks like we're going almost 10 feet deep in the ground, which I do believe. Then our max, we're going about four feet high. That's what that is showing right there. I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply. I'm gonna move this out of the way here. And voila, we have a little color code here. Everything blue is our fill. Everything green is almost pretty much close to existing grade. And then that red is the deepest part of the pond. Now, I, I really don't like these colors. I'm not sure if your client would like them either. I'm going to show you how to change those. I'm going to actually go to this style here. In order to do that, you can click this box. And here I am editing the elevation style. I want to go to the analysis tab. And I'm going to select, instead of a rainbow, I want to select land. I really like the land look. It actually gives it a, a good feel. And I'll, I'll show you what this looks like here right when I press apply. So now we're out of the out of the elevation style editor. We're in the surface properties dialog box. I'm just going to press OK and let's see what happens. All right, it is still colored because I actually need to go back to the analysis and reset my range interval. Now these are the colors that I really want to see. It's just a better feel, you know, when you print out exhibits, I think this looks a little bit better than the rainbow that we have going on. Now this is really cool. One thing that I want to do is again just hover over some of these points and you can actually see the 10 volume surface box pop up there. So what this is saying, that 4.21, is that there's a difference of 4.21 feet. And I know that this is fill because it's positive. Again, our comparison surface is being referenced against our base. Now when I go inside of the pond, I would expect this number to be lower. It, would, it should be negative. And yes, that earthwork analysis dialog box pops up, and it looks like we're digging to about negative 9.9 feet. So this thing is definitely working. That's all I have for this video. We will dive more into volumetric analysis and we might even grade an entire site. I hope you guys learned something new. Feel free to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you found this helpful. Appreciate everyone that's tuned in for this long. Have a good night.